right, back at this. Um, it's a long time since I've uh, recorded anything. The motor, which you can barely see, is done. Like, uh, it's not gonna get fixed, at least not here. Um, they say the compression is low in the cylinders, but I don't know about that. Uh, I don't really trust them here. They seem fairly unprofessional. So I uh, decided to go to Bonaire. Um, should be a trip of about four to five days, um, which should be pretty doable alone. Um, yeah, Anna is gone, um, so I'll have to do it alone. I expect I'll be sailing um, tonight because the the tide, the current will change here at uh, twelve o'clock at night. Um, it's a quite a narrow entrance between between some reef um, that I have to get through at night, but I should be able to do it. Especially since uh, it seems today there's a good wind going uh, out of the bay. As you can see, I am on the water now. Um, I, as I said, I would. Um, I got out during the night where there was a good wind away from the the bay. It, uh, it went fairly well. It's perfect sailing weather. The waves are very gentle. Um, I have about 15 to 18 knots in winds. And I'm going around five knots. I've only got the front sail up right now, um, but I plan on putting up the main sail during today at some point when I feel like it. I didn't sleep very well, and not for very long, since I'm kind of nervous sailing into stuff. There's nobody looking out, stuff like that. Um, so I think I'll I'll probably sleep during the day a little bit more. I've only slept for what is that? Four hours so far. I'm kind of just using the camera as a way to having a conversation with somebody since I'm alone. Uh, it's kind of weird, I'm talking for a long time now. Um, but yeah. By the way, this is what I am having for breakfast. Old fashioned cookies and orange and pineapple soda. Then I'm reading the second book in the series. So yeah, it's great being a grown-up and being able to just eat whatever you want. I wanted to uh, put up the mainsail and stuff to go a bit faster and sit and steer to save some power. But it's been raining the past few hours outside and I am way too luxurious to want to get red. And of course the uh, the towel is up because we're downwind so it's raining into the boat. But yeah, that's, that's kind of annoying. It stopped raining finally but then the uh, the wind died out and it died out for I think like two, three hours maybe. But there was a cl uh, boat close to me, kind of the same size as the one I've got. It's right over there now. We were way closer before, but he motored up to me. And we talked over the radio for a bit since we couldn't get anywhere. Really nice guy, Australian. Um, hope I might see, no see him again. I've been sailing for a bit over a day now. Well, a good bit, I think a day and like, a day and five hours. So yeah, um, I've only done, I think, 120 nautical miles, maybe even a bit lower than that. Also, there is this tanger right there that I'm getting kind of close to, but won't hit. But the thing is that it's here on the map and it's cold. Get that. 
Tom Spirit, which is the name of my father. Not Spirit, but just Torben, which is kind of fun. I'm just trying to talk about stuff. There's not much going on. It's kind of kind of boring, but uh, also very peaceful. A good, healthy breakfast consisting of Earl Grey, ginger nuts, and curry noodles. <sighs> I could live forever on the water like this. All right, I finally got my first uh, bite on my line and uh, I actually caught something. But I think the fishing guards are mocking me because I cannot for the life of me catch a fish. But apparently <laughs> I can catch birds. That's kind of sad. I, I won't be eating that, but I guess if I just throw it in the water, it will... Uh, will be, be eaten by some other animal. It has been a really, really interesting night. Um, first, just before the sun went down, the wind picked up and I had to figure out how to um, reef the mainsail without a motor. That took quite some time, caused quite a bit of discomfort but I ended up uh, figuring it out so now we're just sailing for a fully reefed mainsail and no front sail it's going really well um, and I felt really shitty so I went to bed not long ago I woke up and got up in the to look around um, and there were some lights that were fairly close by so I turned on the AIS which I had turned off to um, to save some power and I see there's a tanger heading straight in my direction um, I can't know if it would have hit me but it would have if it had not hit me it would have been really really close to hitting me um, it was very very close um, and I'm wondering why it didn't see me and I found out that the front lights of my um, navigation lights my see me here I am lights um, aren't working and I didn't check before I went to bed if they were working and apparently they're um, busted and yeah so I almost killed myself there. All right, even more happening tonight. I've caught my first mahi-mahi. Um, I couldn't really take any pictures or anything of it because it was dark outside. I didn't want to take it in here and mess everything up. But I have two fillets here. was a, um, a rightly sized one and I kind of messed up the whole filleting part but it is all good I'm well over halfway now I should be at Bonaire um, tomorrow at midday ish maybe a bit over um, and then hopefully I can uh, make my way to the mooring balls it's really annoying weather um, the forecast said that there should be some stronger winds for a short-ish period of time but it seems to me that it's continuing for a bit longer than I at least expected. Just had some breakfast consisting of the mahi mahi. There's still a lot left so I think I'll just uh, live on that today. And now I'm just reading and trying to sleep a bit so I can be uh, so I can be awake during the night. I've got a friend in the boat. I think he's scared of me, but I'm gonna see if I can get a good shot of him. He just went into the bathroom. Look at him. Huh? 
It's a pretty little bird. My bird friend sadly left during the day yesterday. I was kind of sad about it since it was beginning to get really friendly, but uh, I guess it was uh, done resting on the boat. I just hope it could get to, uh, to land somewhere. It seemed weird that such a small bird would be way out here. The wind has died down. Um, it was about 25 knots for a long time, longer than I had expected. I expected it to uh, there to come some 20, 25 knot winds for maybe a day's time max. But this was, I think, two days. So yeah. Um, but yeah, it's died down now. It's uh, right about 15, 18 knots, I think. It's been a really rough trip. Uh, I was really negative yesterday where I sat up here and I just thought I'm fucking done I don't I don't want to sail anymore and I don't know I think I'll have to think about it in Bonaire I'm really excited for snorkeling and seeing a lot of stuff this should be a really nice like uh, coral national park reserve and there should also, if I remember correctly, be a national park and a goat sanctuary. I think I'm gonna see all that. That all sounds exactly like something I'd want to see, so... This is just wonderful. On the west side of the island, the wind turns a little bit, so... If the wind keeps this direction, I can just sail directly into the anchorage. I can even smell from here the smell of beach, like that seaweedy-ish smell. It's nice. It'll be good to uh, to go snorkeling tomorrow. Great news! Um, the halyard for the front sail just broke. So yeah, it looks kind of messy. I got it reeled in without it going too, too far down. So now I only have the mainsail. I called and asked if somebody wanted to tow me and uh, that was a nice guy and, uh, and another boat had, had mooring ball there that said that he had a five horsepower outboard on his dinghy and he could probably tow me in, so that's great. So right now I'm just getting as close as I can to uh, the mooring and then I will call him and he will come out and. Uh, Tow me in. But yeah, looks super cozy here. 
Uh, I plan on staying for 10 days. Maybe I'll end up staying a bit longer, who knows? I have to check in and, uh, and pay for the mooring, so um, we'll see if they're open today. Otherwise, not much. I'm really hungry and thirsty, so I think I'm gonna take care of that first. I slept really, really well. Oh my god. It's morning now. I'm gonna check in and I'm gonna go to the harbor thing and tell them I'm here and that I want to stay here for some days. All right, I'll, I'll have to show you this. Um, I just had a quick swim because the water is really clear and nice here just to wash off and start the morning. And I didn't bring the camera because there isn't really any coral or anything here. So I thought, ah, that's not going to be anything interesting. But there's a huge school of surgeon, not huge, pretty big school of surgeon fish eating from the bottom of my boat because it's super dirty. checked in it was fairly easy um, now I'm gonna go to the guys who managed the payment for the mooring balls and pay for I think 10 days just paid for 10 days of mooring I'll have to move after the 10 days um, because there's a regards area and she wants people to be there so I'll have to find another mooring after 10 days if uh, if I want to stay so, I don't really know. I'll have to uh, either leave after 10 days, I'd like to stay a bit longer, it's really nice here. Or I'll have to get help again, and get my boat motored somewhere. I can feel I'm very dehydrated. So I'm gonna go back to the boat and drink some water and put some water in a bottle and then try and walk to the donkeys. I didn't go to the donkey sanctuary today because it took quite some time actually getting checked in and all that. And then the GoPro started acting really weird. And I think it might be because there's getting a bit of water, at least at the front panel here, it's getting some water in. Even though it should be watertight, it's, um, it's getting in there. So I think I'll go to the donkey sanctuary, sanctuary tomorrow. And before I go, I'll try to see if there's a store that sells a, um, what's it called? watertight case for it so I have a external watertight thing because it wouldn't turn on and stuff like that I was really scared it was broken so yeah on the way to see the donkeys there should be a pretty good snorkeling spot on the way there and I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to uh, to record it because uh, the GoPro is taking in water but there was this nice VIP diving shop was open and they sell GoPro accessories so I bought the super suit I read online and also like GoPro doesn't cover water damage on their cameras which is retarded when they sell watertight cameras so if the watertightness doesn't hold you're just screwed which is what I am so yeah thank you GoPro
I can feel now that the sun has gone down, that I'm so sunburned. Like my arms, my back and my nose and a bit my forehead. It's a very nice morning today it seems. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do today. Um, I've tried to get to the um, what's the tourist office information thing, but they've been closed during the weekend it seems. So I hope they're open today, and I can ask them a bit um, what's nice to see here and stuff like that. There's there should be a really really nice snorkeling spot a bit away from here. Um, I could walk up there if I can find some cheap flip flops. The bicycle too. I need to need to check how uh, how broken it is. Um, if I can fix the bicycle that's up in the in front here in the boat, um, because if I could get that to work, just like at least so I can ride it a bit, all the gears don't have to, don't have to work and all that, then I would have an easy time getting around here. I just uh, messed with the bike, and it should be working pretty well now. I just need a bicycle pump, so I think I'm gonna go to one of the places that rent out uh, bikes and see if they can uh, fill them up for me. And then also, if I'm really lucky, I should be able to uh, bicycle by um, flamingos. So maybe I'll even uh, even get to record a little bit of flamingos, we'll see. Alright, I was just in the tourism office. Very, very nice, very, very professional. He gave me a lot of good tips on uh, bike routes and told me how to get into the national park and uh, the route to take there, the best route. And the highest point on... Uh, the highest point on Bonaire is in there too. It's only 200 meters, but I'll go on it anyway, anyway I think. Uh, yeah, so the bike works fine, it's super. I'm going to uh, some snorkeling places that should be really, really good now. Excellent snorkeling, really nice. Um, but I think I'm gonna cut it short. I'm not gonna go and see the flamingos today because uh, my feet still hurt and the metal pedals on the bike are not helping that. So I need to buy some shoes. I 
got new flip flops and they're pretty good. Not as good as the last ones, but they're all right. Also got a pair of shorts that are super comfortable. I've gotten even more sunburnt, so I'll uh, I'll do something indoors tomorrow, I think. And uh, it's my boat right there. And of course, thank you to all the patrons. If you want to donate too, go to the Patreon page.